Hey everyone, Steve here with iRely, and today we're going to take a look at how to effectively use the i21 menus. When you first open i21, you will be on the home menu. The home menu is your personal menu where you can set up shortcuts to your most frequently used menus. Think of this as your favorites menu. The left portion of the screen is where the navigation menu is. This lists all the modules that you have licensed for i21. When you click one of these, such as cache management, you will be brought to an embedded menu that shows activities and maintenance groups and other groups that have various menu items in it. As you click around on the different modules, you will notice some have more groups than others. Inventory, for example, purchasing, and even sales. Now some of these modules, like sales, have quite a few menus. We break them down by activities and maintenance in most of them, and then you'll see some unique ones such as commission, maybe reports, point of sale, import, and so on. Going back to the home menu, you can customize this to add any menus you want from the modules in I-21. To do this, you simply click the Customize link. This will open up the home menu screen, where on the left you will see all the modules that are in the navigation window here, and on the right you will see your home menu. If you wanted to add a new group, for example, you simply click New Group. In this case, let's say I wanted to do maybe a CRM menu. So I'd click CRM. I would come down to the CRM menu. I would expand it, and you'll see you have the groups broke down. Here's activities, maintenance, and so on. So let's say I wanted to add maybe the activities, opportunities, and campaigns. I could highlight all three, drag them over, and drop them in the CRM group, and it'll add them. To continue that, I might want to add maybe leads and sales entities, let's say. Same process, I drag them over and drop them. I can even rearrange the order. I might want to take the sales entity and move it up to the second position, for example. Then going back to maybe one of the existing ones, like finances, I might want to add a couple others. So I could scroll around, let's say go to sales, maybe maintenance, I don't know, let's drag customers over and I'll put it in the position at the bottom. When I'm finished making the changes, I can say, click save. When I hit close, a couple seconds later, the home menu will update and reflect the changes. So in this case, you'll see there's the customers, and here's my new CRM menu. Now when I open up a menu, for example, General Journals, this will open up a floating screen. All the screens in i21 are floating windows, very similar to a desktop app. They float around, you can have multiple windows open, you can size them, you can move them around, you can maximize them, restore, you can collapse them, which is very similar to minimize, except it puts it up here in this top collapse bar. When they're collapsed, they're still open, you don't lose any of your data, and you can click on the menu to bring it back. Now from here, let's say I wanted to open this particular journal, I could simply double click or click open. Now open is handy if I wanted to have maybe three selected, I could click open, it'll open all three. Now when it opens all three, you'll see a navigation bar on the bottom where it'll say record one of three. And in this case, I could navigate to the second record, third record, and so on and so forth. Now you'll notice in this case that the search screen hid. It kind of came behind after I opened the journal screen up, it disappeared. Basically it's just hidden. It didn't go away, it's hidden. You can click on it again and it'll open it right back up to where you left off. This just sort of eliminates some of the clutter of having multiple screens open because it can get a little overwhelming over time. But in this case, let's say you did have the search grid open and the general journal screen open. You'll see up here, I have a screens menu. When I click on that, it'll actually drop down the two screens that are open in this case. And I can click on the general journal screen and have it brought back to the front. Another way you can do this obviously is just move the screens around if you can't see them. You can collapse one, get it out of your way and still have the other one open. You can collapse all your screens. You can bring them back one at a time. So let's say you have a couple of these screens open. Let's say I have the journals, let me reopen these back up. So I have multiple screens open right now. Okay, now I wanted to go on to another menu. For example, notice how I'm covering up the menu here and I can't see my home menus very easily. I have a choice. I can either move this out of the way 
That way I can gain access to it, but I still don't get all the menus. They're still covered up. So I have a couple choices. I can collapse. That'll get it out of my way. I can get access to it. I can obviously size or close the window when I'm finished. But probably a more interesting way is just come back up to the navigation window and click on it, and you'll see what we call a mega menu that'll appear. So the mega menu basically, it overlays on top of all the other screens. And this gives you full access to all the menus regardless where you're at. So let's say I click on purchasing, it'll bring up the purchasing mega menu. If I click on sales, it'll do the same. Okay, now to further go in to customize your user, you can click on your username. And this will open up, oops, this will open up your there's one other thing to keep in mind. When this is open, these mega menus will stay open as long as your mouse is inside the actual menu. If you bring it outside, it'll actually automatically close. That's just, again, to get it out of your way so you don't have to actually close it. So if you're a little too fast with the mouse and you go off too quick, it might go away. Just keep in mind, you got to train yourself to stay within the mega menu for them to work properly. So from here, let me say I click on my profile. I can come in here and set my email, phone numbers, things like that. But one of the interesting features here, back to the menu, is there's an option that a lot of our users want where they want to keep the search grids open regardless of whether you open a screen or not. So this is an option you can have. Right now, I currently have it off, which means if I come to General Journals, for example, and let's take these two off, and let me just double click on this one, you'll notice that the search grid is gone. And I only have two screens open right now. And those two are the user profile and my journal. So if I come back to the profile, I can click keep the search grid open. And when I save this and close it, let's close this and start over. Now when I come and I click on journals, it'll open the search grid. Now I double click on a record and it'll open up and you'll notice that the search grid remains open in the background. So this way you can kind of toggle between the windows and continue. But this is up to you on how you want to set it up. A lot of times when you're searching for records, you do it one time and you're kind of done. So it saves you a click of trying to have to close the screen again. And also keep in mind that even when you close that search grid or any search grid, no matter what screen you're on, if you open it up again, it'll remember where you left off. So you don't have to worry about you selected a record or you did a filter on a record or so on and so forth. That stuff all gets saved and keeps it in the background during this entire session. Okay, another interesting feature I wanted to talk about is, let's go to the sales module here, and let's open the customer screen. One of the neat things of the grids is all of our grids are very easily filtered. You can, you can come in and, for example, let's say I go to state, and I come down here and I, drag, I take this Indiana, and I click my mouse on it, and I drag it up to this toolbar. Notice how it goes from kind of a red to a green. When I let go, It'll filter then automatically on this state equal to IN, which is Indiana in this case. Now let's say this is something that you do frequently and it's kind of frustrating to have to come in every single time and put that filter on. You can go to this feature called View and save it. And what it'll do is it'll save it as a new tab. So let's say I say customers in Indiana, Indiana, and click OK. What you'll notice is, is it creates a tab here now that remembers that filter. So now every time I open this search grid up under customers, I can click this and it will have this pre-filtered for me. Where this tab over here, since I added it here, it, it still remembers this, but typically by default, this one could change or it'll default back to here. So now if I close this, reopen it back up, you'll see I'm on this customers tab by default. This is our default internal tab. This basically lists all customers by default. But now here's the custom one that I created with a custom view. I could even drag this to the first view. And now every time I open this customers list, it'll actually have that as my first one. But the feature I really wanted to show you was if I click on view, I have an option here to say add to menu. And what this will do is it'll take this view and it'll add it to the embedded menu. So let's do that. And you'll see here it says it's finished. Now when I click close, you're going to see a new group down here called custom views. And inside the custom views, it will list any of the views that you save from any of these search grids. So it doesn't matter where you're at, you can save it. 
So now at this point, I could just, instead of coming to customers, which is one click, and uh, typically you're gonna be on this tab or whatever tab you're on, and then you have to click on this tab to get to there. It's kind of two steps. What you can do instead is you just click on this and you're right in there. And you can launch the customer screen just like you would from the customer view, same way. Furthermore, you can come back to your home and click customize. And let's say I wanted to actually add that view. You'll notice now there's a new group under sales called custom views. I can click there. I could either open up this group or any other group and I could drag this in wherever I'd like. Save it, close it, and a couple seconds later, you'll see it's in my home screen. So this allows me a very fast way now to get the things. You, you'll use, as you use i21 more and more, you're gonna come to the realization that it's just so much faster to use the home screen for everything, especially on all the tasks you use repetitively. A few other things to talk about. There's a couple other menus up here in the header. You have notifications for yourself. You'll see activities here. You'll see badge numbers like this number two means I have two that I haven't you know, done an action on yet that I need to. Um, even though like under activities, I actually still have some activities these I've actually done something with so they don't show a badge number. Recents is a nice way to go back to certain records that you've done in the past. So if you've, you know, we want to go back to the customer like Apple Spices that I opened earlier, I could click on that and it'll just bring me right into the customer screen and show you. A uh, few more things under the profile. If I come back to my user, um, you can change your password, you can enter into a full screen mode by pressing F11, um, you can lock the screen, so let's say you're going to lunch and you just want to lock your screen but you don't want to log out or sign out of i21, you'll do that and you can just put your password in and you're right back where you started, you don't have to worry about saving any data or losing any data. Um, we have access to support, our help desk, documentation, so on and so forth, and some other help on, you know, about i21 and other features. So that's pretty much wraps up the menus and how they work. I hope you enjoyed.